Did you know that ancient Egypt was mostly illiterate? So symbols were pivotal in conveying information to the majority of the population. Hello and welcome to Ancient History Encyclopedia. My name is Kelly and today we're going to explore some of the most important and recognisable ancient Egyptian symbols, the Ankh, the Jed and many more. Don't forget if you enjoy our videos, give this one a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Ancient Egypt was a literate culture, with the earliest surviving examples of writing dating between 3400 and 3200 BCE, during the pre-dynastic period, which dates between circa 6000 and 3150 BCE. Egyptian literature includes inscriptions, myths, stories, hymns, poetry, religious writings, letters and court records, just to name a few, and often these works were depicted through art and conveyed their messages through symbols. Although the ruling class, scribes and wealthy citizens of ancient Egypt would have had literacy skills, Egypt was largely an illiterate society, with potentially only 1% of the population being literate. This means that symbols were used to convey information that would have been unaccessible to the general population of Egypt. Religion in ancient Egypt was a fully integrated part of the lives of every Egyptian, and this ever-present spiritual world was symbolised through common images and symbols in art, architecture, amulets and objects. And two of the most important of these symbols are the Ankh and the Jed. The Ankh is one of the most recognisable symbols of ancient Egypt. The Ankh is a cross with a loop at the top and dates to the early dynastic period between circa 3150 and 2613 BCE. Its origins are unknown, but a popular theory is that it developed from the Chet, or the Knot of Isis, which is the belt buckle of the goddess Isis and symbolises female genitalia and fertility. The symbol is an Egyptian hieroglyph, which means life or breath of life, and it symbolises both the mortal existence and the afterlife. No matter what the origins are, it has always been associated with life, the promise of an afterlife, the sun, fertility and light. It isn't surprising then that the Ankh is prominently found in tomb paintings and inscriptions, and often deities such as Anubis and Isis are depicted holding the Ankh to the mouth of a soul to revitalise it in the afterlife. Although the Ankh is depicted being held by many deities, including Osiris and Anubis, Isis is the most common. Her cult is known to have promised afterlife through resurrection, and the Ankh became instantly recognisable as the symbol for eternal life. The symbol of the Jed is a column with a broad base which narrows as it rises and is crossed by four parallel lines at the top. The Jed first appears in the pre-dynastic period and continues in popular use up until the Ptolemaic dynasty between 323 and 30 BCE. The Jed, like the Ankh, is one of the most common symbols from Egyptian art and architecture. The Jed symbolises stability and is thought to represent the backbone of Osiris, the tamarisk tree in which Osiris was enclosed in in the myth of his death and resurrection by his sister wife Isis, or an ancient fertility pole which was associated with early worship of Osiris. Whatever the origin of the symbol may be, it emphasises the number four, which represents completeness in Egyptian religion through the four parallel lines crossing it, which also suggest stability. The symbols appear together and separately in Egyptian art and architecture all throughout the culture's long history. The Ankh as symbol of life and breath and the Jed as stability provided the literate and illiterate of Egypt the assurance that the gods were close by, caring for and watching over them. The Ankh reminded the people that every breath they took was from the gods and the Jed reminded them that the gods gave them the very earth they walked on. The symbols worked together to draw the people's minds to the gods and reassure them that they were immortal souls only on the earth for a short time, placed there by the gods who would one day welcome them to paradise. Another of the most important symbols from ancient Egypt is the Wes Scepter. 
the Wes Scepter is frequently seen in depictions of the gods as a staff with a forked bottom. The top of the scepter changes depending on which deity is holding it. In the case of the creator god Ptah, for example, the Wes Scepter combined the Ankh, the Jed, the Wes itself, and a circle, representing unity and symbolising completeness with the number four. Kings of Egypt from the early dynastic period are depicted with the Wes Scepter as a symbol of their power. Another important symbol is the winged solar disc, known as the Horus Bedetti, and it symbolises the soul in flight, kingship, royal power, divinity and Horus, who legitimised the king's rule. The winged solar disc is among one of the oldest Egyptian symbols and one of the oldest in the world from any culture. Equally important is the symbol of the mound or hill, known as the Benben, which represents the first small rise of land on which the god Atum stood amidst the swirling waters of chaos to create the world. The Benben is represented in Egyptian art as a triangle, and scholars have suggested that the shape of the pyramid comes from the Benben. The crook and flail commonly appear in the hands of the monarchs of Egypt from the early dynastic period through the Ptolemaic era. Both of these are symbols of agriculture, associated with the first mythical god king Osiris, and represent kingship and care for the people. The crook was for herding sheep, and the flail was for goats, and together in the king's hand assured the people that he was watching over and guiding them. There are many more symbols from ancient Egypt, including the Ujat Eye or the Eye of Ra, which symbolises protection and transformation. Serpents also signified transformation and new life, as the scarab beetle and an image of the lotus flower did. Numbers also served as symbols, as did colours, as the Egyptians believed that all of life and everything it contained was full of meaning, and this was celebrated through their art. We have seen that important messages are conveyed through symbols, what are some important symbols in your life? Do you know their meaning and origin? Let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget the easiest way to support us is to give this video a like, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. This video was brought to you by Ancient History Encyclopedia. For more great articles and interactive content, head to our website via the link below. Ancient History Encyclopedia is a not-for-profit organisation. If you'd like to support our work, hit the card up in the top corner of the screen or via the link below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon. Bye.